Joined by head coach Natalia Ardagna after the Beacons doubleheader sweep and a pair of shutout wins, your two freshman pitchers gave up a combined eight hits and no extra base hits against the very good Salem State offense. How huge is that when the offense hasn't been doing that well the last couple of games to see your pitchers pitching as well as they did today? Uh, it was really great to see them pitch as well as they did today. We've been working on some specific things with them um, and trying to make sure that they are keeping the ball um, you know, away and out of the zone when they're ahead in the count um, and making sure that um, when they are struggling a bit that we are putting uh, runs on the board and really executing. Uh, we are still working on making sure that we're pushing runs across. We're still leaving a few more runners on base, but I think today we did a really good job of uh, you know, making things happen. A big part of your success today was your defense. All three starting outfielders made phenomenal catches. Your infield made some big plays as well. When your pitchers pitch as well as they do, how much does that help your defense in terms of having confidence that they will get strikes and that it won't be a long game, but also that they're going to see the ball and keeps them on their toes? I think from start to finish, they were very relaxed. Um, they you know, were really confident in what they were doing. They had really strong intentions and they were very focused and they knew exactly what the game plan was and they managed to execute it and I think that that helps defensively um, it doesn't have there's not so much for them to think about there's more of just reaction and just enjoying the whole process instead of you know being tight and, and making errors or thinking too much about things and I think you know offensively and defensively I think that really showed and I think that helps you know the pitchers definitely know that if the defense is on their game that if the pitchers you know kind of waver a bit that the defense will definitely pick them up. Finally, offensively, eight runs in game one, your most at home this season, five more in game two, your third most, and your seniors who had all been collectively slumping a little bit, all coming up huge with Ari Balada and Taylor Paulina not in the lineup today. Were you a bit surprised that you had as much success as you did against a good Salem State staff? Um, I wasn't really surprised. I mean, I, I kind of anticipated that we would be you know, pretty successful. We've been kind of changing things up in the lineup and trying to figure out, you know, if we can get, you know, people in a little bit more of a comfortable position or um, getting them, you know, just a little bit more at bats or, or more quality at bats. Um, and so, you know, I think that that's a work in progress and the girls have been really patient and really open to the change and, and making sure that, you know, they understand that we're trying to do the best we can to help them get out of, you know, whatever slump they're in. You know, our goal is to make sure that we're as productive as possible, uh, you know, one through nine in the lineup. And I think today they were definitely very productive. Eight games left in the regular season. It's scary that there's that few left. What do you need to do to be going into the LEC tournament on a the most positive note you can and hopefully with a, a pretty decent seed as well? Um, I think we just have to, you know, maintain our composure and, and keep some consistency. I, You know, this team has a lot of talent and a lot of athletic ability and I think that if, you know, mentally we're prepared and we're ready to go, I, I, I really don't see this team um, – you know, struggling as much as we have in the past, especially in the postseason. So, you know, we just have to make sure that we're tweaking little things and, and making adjustments when we need to make adjustments and recovering quickly. Um, and I think that we'll be all right. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. The Beacons head to Rhode Island College on Saturday. Thanks.